Although it was Eugene Pelligot, a French professor of analytical chemistry who first isolated pure uranium in 1841, uranium oxide was first extracted from pitchblende and identified by German chemist Martin Klaproth in 1789. However, uranium has been known of since at least 79 AD, when uranium oxide was used as a coloring agent for ceramic glazes and glass in the Roman Empire, although they didn't recognize it as uranium at that time. The world's first nuclear power plant used to generate electricity was the Obninsk nuclear power plant in the Soviet Union, which went online June 27, 1954. As it stands today in 2021, there are approximately 443 nuclear reactors operational in some 30 countries around the globe. Although nuclear energy is one of the safest, cleanest, and most efficient forms of energy currently accessible on planet Earth, its dark history, arising from the devastating effects of nuclear weapons and accidents such as those at Chernobyl and Fukushima, has left fear in the hearts of the general public to this very day. The widespread destruction resulting from the first atomic bombs being dropped on Japan during the Second World War is almost unimaginable. Americans were first in the race to nuclear armament, and they used it with deadly efficiency, dropping an atomic bomb on Hiroshima on the morning of what was a particularly beautiful summer's day in August of 1945. 43 seconds after being released from the B-29 bomber plane Enola Gay, named after the mother of pilot Colonel Paul Tibbetts, the bomb detonated. For those fortunate enough to be outside the center of the blast, they immediately got lifted up and thrown violently at high velocity into their surroundings. Some survived, and at least it was better than being one of the tens of thousands of people near the center of the impact who were simply just evaporated instantly. No blood and no pain, just instant oblivion. The resulting fires burned for days and destroyed a four square mile area of the city. And for those who didn't succumb to fatal burns, many died from the effects of radiation poisoning in the days, months, and years that followed. The generational impact of birth defects due to the radiation is still being felt to this day. In addition to all of this, the US dropped yet another atomic bomb onto Japan, this time in Nagasaki, but days later with similar results, which drove the Japanese to finally surrender, putting an end to World War II. President Truman, who issued the orders to drop the bombs, attempted to reassure the general public that this great tragedy was necessary to save countless more lives by ending the war. History may be the judge, but I'm not so sure I believe him. Commodity Culture is a series on commodities and natural resources. If you would like to see more, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're always up to date with the latest episodes.